The outskirts of Sana'a are burning. For days, explosions and gunfire have been heard over the capital. The target is Hamid al-Ahmar, a tribal leader and President Saleh's main rival. His fighters clashed with security forces as they attempted to march on the city. I'm standing almost in the middle of Sana'a and behind me up north is Al-Hasba area where clashes are taking place a few kilometers away. But still the sound of gunfire and explosions is heard here overnight. And further north is the border where thousands of tribesmen are trying to get into the city, clashing with President Saleh's forces. These pictures from state television claim to show the result of the fighting. Damage is everywhere. And civilians are paying the price. Hospitals are full with injured and bodies of people killed in the clashes. Even children did not escape the violence. Here at the University Square, that is now called Change Square, there is great disappointment. The tribal war has overshadowed their peaceful demand for change. What we see at Al Hasaba, with the raiding of houses, is condemned and rejected by the peaceful revolution. Sadak is being attacked because he supports the revolution. This regime wanted to target the sheikh to scare us into leaving the squares, but it only makes us stronger and more determined. But as violence continues, there are greater fears the country could go into a civil war and the peaceful demands for change will be on hold for the time. Lina Sinjab, BBC News, Sana'a.